93 degrees at a quarter after 11. Hot. I'm going for the pineapple. Canned pineapple for the opener of the day. Yeah. The plan today is to make 150 bucks for lunch only. I can't believe how close I came to it the last couple of days. I still haven't gotten my first order yet here, but it's coming. Alright, you saw it. First order, 1.3 miles to a place that I'm not like super familiar with. But we're gonna turn off the DoorDash app and we're gonna head over to what's the name of this place? Eat this cafe. What was it like? 10 bucks for 1.3? Nice. How you doing? <clears throat> You got Cheryl for Uber ready? No, nothing's ready right this second. No problem. Bye bye. <laughs> Feels like I'm really being tested right now because it's 45 minutes on the road without getting an order, without getting an order other than that order I just walked out on. It is what it is, it's coming. Right, finally, a $12.66 order. A very nice order from Uber Eats for about 2.2 miles from a regular Lala's. Let's fucking go. Bye. Bye. Secrets inside. Hi guys, you got Miguel for Uber? Yes. Uh, Miguel. Thank you. You're All right, number one, we're going to Kuanga and Willoughby, easy location. All right, I'll call him. Oh, awesome. Thanks, man. Enjoy. Have a good one. You too. Absolutely the most insane start to a day ever. Maybe I didn't realize that Saturdays just start late. It's only 1230, but I've been out here for an hour and 15 minutes. Did one order, made 12 bucks. But the app is slowly getting active, so it's still gonna happen. As long as I'm patient, the hourly rate doesn't matter. So what, it's 12.30 now, I'm only working lunch. I've been out here an hour and 15, so what if I work until like 4 p.m. to pull it off? Even 4.30 or 5 p.m., I want that 150 bucks. <laughs> Our 25 cent WeHo Thai order. It's only 1.8 miles. It's not a great order, but I have never had such a slow open. I'm actually gonna leave the Uber app on because it's it's not giving me anything anyhow. Some crappy uh, some tea, great din, D-I-N. Oh shit. Hi guys. I have a din, a D-I-N, din. <laughs> I just passed by a fleet of LAPD electric bikes. They finally got it. If I wasn't in such a fucking rush, I'd pull over to check it out. Go to the ninth floor of any building. It might as well be this building. I've been here before. They're cool. They let the scooter in. How you doing? Hi. I remember you. I leave the scooter here. Guys, I got frustrated and just decided to take the stairs nine fucking flights. I figured I'd just go for it. It's a terrible job with a crappy tip. Guy lives all the way up here, gets a tea, ninth floor delivery, he probably tipped three bucks on this. It's not a high dollar amount worth of food, but it's not a high payout. I figured I'll increase the torture, increase the pain, and fucking walk it.
kidding, this is a long walk, but now we're gonna take a breezy ride down to IHOP. We have a half a mile order. That's right, only a half a mile for eight bucks. Let's go. All right, we're coming in hot to IHOP. I hopped, I hopped. We're right in the front door. We'll walk right through it. Oh, slot. Whoa. Swear. Jose for Uber. Jose for Uber. Hi guys. How you doing? Serious out there. You got a Dally D A L Y for DoorDash? Yeah. Very much. See you guys next time. Alright, after being super slow, we got a $14 three mile two order run for DoorDash only. We got our Jersey Mike's as you can see, and now we're going to Mendocino Farms right around the corner. Hey, what's going on man? You, you guys got, oh, I have Autumn. Okay. Uh, and it, is that Autumn? Yeah, I thought it was, thank you. All right, guys, see you next time. Yeah. It's okay. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you so much. My pleasure. This looks like one of those leave at my door with no further directions attached to it. So that means I'm going to leave it in front of the main entrance. Why not? We got a Sunset Chipotle order for eight and a half bucks under two miles going to Willoughby and Fairfax. It's so slow. I'm leaving both the apps on. Maybe we can get another Uber order. Plus, Uber has been frozen. They've been crashing a lot today. You said anything about the fact that it's like 100 degrees? So we have this Chipotle it's order. It's extremely slow. Avenue. But we also have a Mendocino Farms order, which is in the direction of the drop-off for the Chipotle. So let's try to get some sort of a flow going. Try not to melt. I've been drinking my water. Thank you. All right, this should be an easy drop off. Number four. What the fuck? Oh my God. Uh, now we're gonna shoot down to Mendocino Farms. Man, it's hot in hell and I'm finally working hard. I'd much rather be doing this than just fucking sitting there doing nothing. That was a terrible open to the day. I mean, if we make a hundred bucks from this one shift, we're gonna be lucky now. You're kidding me. Hey, I'm pretty sure one of those two are mine. Leanne and we, I have two. Leanne and we for DoorDash. Thank you. See you next time. You too. We finally reached 100 degrees, huh? Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Okay, that's the first of these two California chicken orders. And now the second order is on El Cerrito, right in my neighborhood. Should be easy. Oh, 
Hi, we I remember you. How you doing? How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Hustling, thanks for coming down. All right, we got a $9 Mendocino Farms order, and right now it is... Oh, that's all, just 99. No, I'm sorry, 102 degrees. Nice. Wow, what a struggle of a day it has been. Not just a very slow start, but all day the apps have been crashing. I don't know if it's my connection. I don't know if it's that my phone needs an update. I don't know if there's something wrong with the apps. There's no way that it's because they're busy, because it is slow as fuck. It's pretty obvious to me that people are just recovering today. The streets are not even that busy. Hey, kid. Hey. All right, Jackie, thank you. Almost perfectly on time. There you go. See you next time. Sure. Alright, this is one of these easy drop-offs because I remember this place. It looks like it's an entrance mm -hmm. with no actual oh it does have a code. I'm thinking about a different place. I think the customer said leave it out front though. Oh yeah, she says I can leave at the front gate. Those are my favorite types of directions. Whoa, I almost tripped on that curb, which should not fucking be there. Man, I can't see nothing in the sun. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm almost positive. If that was 70 plus dollars worth of food, I'm almost positive that's gonna pay more than the nine bucks. Could be a good one. Let's see, cross your fingers. Come on, DoorDash, see what I'm talking about? 1350, nice. Uh, I got one of my favorite little ice cream shop orders. I'm pretty North sure this Laurel is the Avenue one. Toward Fountain Avenue. I'm pretty sure this is the ice cream shop in the gas station. Using the left lane, make a left turn. Probably the best thing about this place is I can grab a much needed drink, man. I drank all my water. We've been out here a long time. I have no idea how long, probably at least four hours. Give me a Mountain Dew too, okay? One of those bottles right behind you. I'll pay you for that in cash. Two dollars? Yeah. Free. Yeah, this all, okay. Thanks, man. There you go, brother. See you next time. Yeah, guys, I definitely remember this name and this delivery. This is the lady that gave me $30 for a single pint of ice cream. Does that mean I'm gonna get 60 for two? She might give me nothing. I mean, it's a pretty good order. It's got a good tip. Let's go. Okay, guys, no expectation on the tip. That's kind of one of the secrets to life anyhow is not so much low expectations, but almost like no expectations. Especially a situation like this, she doesn't, she's not obligated to give me another big tip. Although this ice cream is super frozen, I did do a good job. Right. Are there stairs here? Hey, is it for how you doing? <laughs> oh, it's very nice to see you again. Enjoy. Thank you. Guys, this is fucking insane. Did you catch that shit live? This is a $50 fucking bill. Holy shit. All right, let's go in the fucking, let's go in the stairway and celebrate. This lady gave me a fucking $50 tip. I can see it, it's counterfeit. It smells real. Holy shit, I was... Holy shit, guys, I'm telling you, man. I knew I'd make 150 bucks today. That is, that's fucking faith. Holy shit, a, a $50 bill, too. 50's got some, I think in gambling, actually, 50's are bad luck, but wow, holy fuck. I mean, you would've think she paid my rent, but just unbelievable, like, beyond generosity. All right, it's 3.30, my fucking Strava kicked out, so it's not giving us the right readout, but I know we started at 11.10 today. So what is that, four hours and 20 minutes? I have enough juice for another couple of orders. I'm gonna push myself and stay out here. I'm not taking this crappy order though. I just did a quick little add up with the numbers, including that tip, we're at 145 bucks. We've been working for four and a half hours. I think I'm gonna do another five hour lunch shift. I gotta get at least one more order, make the 150 bucks. 
No, I'm not taking a $5 pizza press order. All right, we have enough energy for a couple more orders. All right, guys, you know we cherry-picked a good one for one of our last ones. We got a nice Lala's order, a mile and a half for 10 bucks from Uber to make sure it's not for too many things. Nope, two items, let's go. For Uber, Mark. Thank you. See you guys. All right, I don't remember ever being in this building before. It looks like it's pretty big and we're also going to the penthouse, fancy schmancy. So let's tie up. Is the top floor the penthouse by default? Doesn't really make any sense. Well, my building, I guess, yeah, the top floor is considered the penthouse, but there are six sick units on the top floor of my building. All right, penthouse number one. Hi, are you number one? Uh, yeah. Let me take a picture of it, okay, since yeah. you asked for a drop off. That's it. Now the government right. can track your food. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. I don't know why I make that stupid joke every time. Okay, I have no idea how much money we made today. I think it's like 150 to 160 with that tip, and it's 4.08. That means we worked for five hours. You know why I'll put the finishing numbers at the end. Guys, thank you for following the videos. I really appreciate it. My name is Yogi Steve. This is ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. Videos about high-powered scooters and smoking, destroying, killing food delivery and making money with them. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Like the video and leave a comment down below. Talk to me and you know I'll probably see you tomorrow. Thank you.